Hey guys, Jamie Pfeffer back with you again for another pick a card reading. And in this super quick pick a card, we are looking at what's coming in for you for the week ahead. This is a timeless reading. You are definitely going to want to stick around for. If you're new to pick card readings, let me lay it out for you real quick. In a moment, you will see an image of three different stacks of cards. Each stack will have a crystal on top as well. Okay, let me put that up for you guys. All right, so we've got stack A on the left. Stack B is in the center with that beautiful rhodonite palm stone. And stack C is on the right, and that's a raw piece of citrine. On the left, I didn't include, that is African bloodstone. It is a carved owl. So take a moment and look at the card stacks and see which card seems to be speaking to you. Then once you've got your card picked out, you can go down below in the description box, which is located right below the video and find the timestamps. That way you can jump right to your reading, okay? I will see you on the other side. Hey, Stack A, I am so glad that you're with me today. Let's jump right into your reading and look at what is going to be happening for you for the week ahead. But real quick before we do that, I want to remind you to go down below and click on that red subscribe button as well as the wiggly bell right next to it. That way you will be notified every time I do a reading, okay? So first of all, we're going to look at your crystal. This is such an awesome crystal. It's one of my absolute favorites. And as you can tell, it is carved. It is a carved owl. And the type of this crystal is called African bloodstone, okay? This is a really great crystal for grounding yourself, grounding your dreams into reality, getting yourself out of your head if you're like an overthinker, if you've been overthinking, and into your body. Getting yourself out of fight or flight if you're there, or helping yourself if you have scattered energies, okay? Those are all things that grounding does. If you're interested in learning more about grounding, which I would highly suggest because you chose this crystal, you can find a link to my grounding video below. And in that video, I give you five easy ways to ground your energy, okay? All right, so we are going to take a look at your card for this week. And I just chose one card. This is a super quick reading. Okay, this goes really well with this grounding stone. And it is Dream Sweet Sleep Deep. That is the card, okay? So my guess is that you have been having some problems sleeping recently or you've been super anxious, okay? So the other stone that's really coming to mind that's great for helping us get into a deeper sleep is amethyst. Amethyst is a purple stone. It's a crown chakra stone, okay? So I really feel like the fact that you chose this owl and I've talked about grounding and now this is about getting deeper sleep Something is going on with anxiety. You've been in your mind about something, okay? You could be an air sign, which is Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini, or you could just be spending a lot of time in your mind spinning around about something, okay? This card talks about sleep that's deep and lasts till morn, wondrous dreams for days reborn, okay? So you are not getting enough sleep and it's impacting your day-to-day -day life, okay? Get yourself a piece of African bloodstone. I love the fact that it's the owl, okay? So owls are nocturnal, and that's what this card is talking about. You've become nocturnal, and you don't really want to be nocturnal, okay? Uh, also, this card is number 45, and the 4 plus the 5 is a 9, okay? 9 symbolize completion. So whatever it is that you're working on at night, it's almost complete, okay? And I really feel like... If you can get yourself some amethyst, put it under your pillow and work on grounding, getting yourself some African bloodstone, doing the grounding that I, some of the grounding activities that I talk about in the video that I referenced earlier, you're going to be in a much better position moving forward. I'm also feeling like having a glass of warm milk or having some chamomile tea before you go to bed would also really benefit you. I really hope that you enjoyed this quick reading. If you did, make sure to go down below and subscribe so that you see every time I put readings out, okay? 
And also leave me a comment if you do resonate with this reading. I love hearing from you. I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye. Hey, Stack B, and I am so grateful that you are here with me today for this quick one card, one crystal reading. Before we jump in, I do wanna remind you to go down below and click on the red subscribe button as well as the wiggly bell. That way you will always be notified anytime I put out a new reading. And like I said before, if you're somebody that needs intuitive guidance or spiritual guidance often, that's a great thing to be plugged into my channel because you will be notified every time I put out a new video, okay? Let's start with your crystal. You picked this gorgeous rhodonite palm stone. And this is such an awesome piece. I really love this piece in particular. It fits in your hand really nicely. It's so cool and just like calming and a lot of really amazing heart energy here, heart and root, okay? So what is rhodonite used for? I have a feeling that this has something to do with your love life. That's what I'm feeling here. Or it could be something that you're super passionate about that maybe hasn't totally manifested yet. And you could be feeling kind of bad about yourself. You could be feeling a little bit rejected, okay? And I also am noticing that this kind of matches my shirt a little bit too, so that's interesting. So because my shirt is about astrology, the astrology that's going on right now may be impacting you, okay? Rhodonite is also an, an amazing stone for like heartbreak, for, it's very calming too though. So it works from like your heart chakra all the way down to your root chakra and really works on connecting those and helping you feel safe in your heart, heart space, okay? It can also give you energy if you've been feeling kind of lethargic recently. And it also helps with any type of trauma, particularly emotional trauma. So keep that in mind. And I am gonna put a link to this exact type of piece, not this exact stone, because this is my stone, but I will put a link to where you can get this exact piece, okay? And let's find out what your card is for the week ahead. Wow, okay, so I was right. So you got the passion card and it is a number 11, okay? So 11 is a master number, which means that we don't typically break it down, but if you were to break it down, one plus one equals two, okay? So this is about you and something else. And it says, passion, rise passion, rise up high, inflame my purpose, reach the sky. So I'm really getting this as, this is about your career or some type of project, but it could also be about a person. It's you plus another thing. So I'm really feeling like you have been feeling kind of down and out. Maybe like the efforts that you're putting into something aren't giving you what you expected as quickly as you suspected, expected or that you've been lacking the energy that you really wanna put into a project or into a new relationship, okay? Well, this coming week, that is coming to an end and you can help that, help that come to an end quicker by getting yourself this rhodonite and also doing a grounding meditation, okay? Something with your root chakra and then connecting the root chakra and the heart chakra. I happen to have an amazing root chakra meditation if you're interested in it. I will drop a link for you below if you are. If not, you can always go on YouTube and search for free meditations for the root chakra and I would also suggest for the heart chakra, okay? So that is it for this quickie reading for you. Make sure to go down below and leave me a comment if you resonated. I love hearing from you and I will talk to you again soon. Bye. Hi, Stack C. It's so wonderful to have you here with me. And today we are just doing a real quick one card reading for you. And we've got one crystal. The crystal that you chose is citrine. And I have a really big feeling that this is about like prosperity or success. Citrine is a super duper sunny stone. This one is a raw piece, but you can also get citrine in tumbled form. It's very sunny, like I said, it's very optimistic, it's confidence, and it's about power, optimism, happiness, anything like that. So it's known as the merchant stone in a lot of metaphysical circles or with different healers. I actually carry a piece of citrine in my wallet. It's said to bless different areas of wealth, and I have citrine that I've used in certain areas of my life 
in terms of feng shui, to actually raise the vibration and to raise the wealth quotient of the places that I live and different things like that. So that is all really exciting and those are all things that you can do with citrine. If you are interested in getting yourself a piece of citrine, which is a fantastic solar plexus stone, so it's really good for psychics too. And if you're an empath, okay, you wanna really strengthen your core because that's where we get our psychic abilities from, okay? I will put a link for a piece of raw citrine just like this below for you. So let's look at what your card is and what you have to look forward to this week. Wow, okay, perfect. Your card is victory, awesome. So you see this chalice right here. We've got the number 35, okay? Three plus five is eight, and eights are all about abundance and infinity, infinite abundance, success, and victory. And I can't help but notice this is in the form of a cup, okay? So this may not be victory monetarily, although it certainly could be. It can also be victory in the form of your emotions, your love life, just love, feeling loved, having more love in your life, feeling happier because that, or feeling like your intuition or psychic powers are really turned up high, okay? And it says, victory, I shall celebrate and I shall rise. I will let victory make me wise. So this is about having a victory in some aspect of your life coming up this week, winning the trophy, like that's what this reminds me of. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Stanley Cup. And I am so excited for you. And I'm hearing like, you're gonna be feeling like royalty. That's like what this makes me feel like. Very luxurious. You're gonna be feeling amazing, like a million bucks is what I'm hearing. So congratulations if you picked stack C. This is super promising and amazing. And if you are looking for a way to bring more abundance into your life, I have a fantastic meditation. It's called Unblocking Abundance. I will leave a link for it below. There have been many, many people that have done this meditation and that have shared with me how much, how much money and different things they've welcomed into their lives. I know that it's certainly helped me. So if you are interested in having more victory in your life, grab yourself some citrine, grab that Unblocking Abundance meditation. It's under 10 bucks. I mean, you have access to it on all your devices forever. You can listen to it as many times as you want. It's a great visualizing meditation to manifest and to bring infinite abundance into your life, okay? But I have a feeling you're gonna be bringing that in totally on your own this week. I'm so excited to hear about it. Make sure you go down below and leave me a comment. I love hearing from you. I love hearing your stories. So check in with me, okay? And I will talk to you again very soon. Bye.